What's up guys? So today I'm gonna to be doing an oil change on my STI. And you might be thinking, dude, your engine's already screwed up, so why bother with an oil change? Well, I'm actually gonna be driving my car down to six star SPF to have them check it out and fix it and obviously do all the work that they need to do. But I'm actually gonna drive it there instead of having it towed. Me personally, it's a lot easier and cheaper to just drive it over there than have it towed, especially since my car is in my driveway and my driveway is on a pretty steep incline. It's almost impossible for a tow truck to even get my car where it is right now. I would still have to drive it up the driveway uh, to put it on a tow truck. So whether I drive my car up my driveway or I drive it the three short miles down to the shop, I don't really think it's gonna make much of a difference. The components that are already damaged are already damaged and they're going to be replaced because I have a new short block coming in from IAG, which should be in this week sometime. Hopefully, fingers crossed if everything goes according to plan. Um, but for me, it's worth it just to drive down there. But to you know help my odds, to give me the best possible chance of not completely screwing up everything, I have some conventional 10W40 oil that I have here. I'm gonna be using that. I always use synthetic, I always use 10W40 AMS oil, but conventional is fine to drive my car three miles. And I have an OEM oil filter. I always use the Napa Gold filters, but I've had this laying around for literally about three years. And uh, we're gonna do an oil change because the less contaminants and debris that is in my oil, the better it is. But as I said, for me personally, in this situation, I think it's worth it just to drive it down to six star myself rather than deal with a tow truck. All right guys, so I'm rocking the older ENT apparel Miley shirt for the boys. I am about to drive my car down to six star. My mom's gonna follow me, pick me up and drive me back. But uh, I'm gonna get this dropped off so that they can start working on it. And uh, I haven't even turned this car on in about three weeks. So I am a little bit nervous about that, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right boys, this is the moment of truth right here. Yeah, it's uh it's apparently dead. All right guys, so we are on our way down to 6 Star. Uh it turns out my battery was completely dead, but we jumped it and I am making one hell of a racket. Engine's making crazy noise, my brakes are loud as hell because uh, they're covered in rust because I haven't driven a car in so long, but uh, I think we're gonna make it. All right, this is gonna be a huge pain in the ass. Hopefully nobody's coming and we're going. And we are gonna coast down this hill. Well, so far we're doing so good. We're halfway there. I gotta go through this light, another light, and then make a right, but uh, so far so good. I'm a little bit nervous about it. As you can tell, we are making a whole hell of a racket. People are looking at me like I'm crazy, like I'm driving some POS, which I can't blame them because I am right now. But uh, it'll be a hell of a lot better once we get a new engine in this sucker.
Like I said, this is the place to go if you need your Subaru worked on. This is the only shop that I trust in the Pittsburgh area, but uh, I'm gonna drop off my keys right here and uh, then uh, I'll hear from them, I guess, tomorrow.